What is up guys, it's Cal, and in this video we'll be taking a look at the rank 6 Brawler's Guild fights. Now my item level as of recording this is 407, so if your item level is relatively high then you can ignore some of these mechanics for the most part at least, but I'm still going to go through and tell you all of them. So let's get started. Now the first fight of rank 6 is Nibble, who has definitely been in the Brawler's Guild before. Now as a Beastmaster Hunter, this is actually probably the most difficult fight to do as Beastmastery. So what you have to do is you have to kite the snake around, and you cannot make him stop at all. So this is also probably kind of difficult for melee, I guess. I don't play melee, but I would assume. Um, so, because if he stops and stays in his spit pile, then he grows really big and it increases his damage done by lots. Now, even though his damage was increased by a lot right now, I still did uh, significantly well, I feel like, but I did end up uh, dying, as, as you're about to see here. Yep, now I am dead. So, you want to kite him around, hug the walls. I actually make some pretty, uh, pretty wide turns, like I don't, I don't hug the wall entirely. I, uh, I kind of just, yeah, as I said, make wide turns just because I felt like my DPS was, was fairly enough that it won't cover the entire room. But yeah, I switched to Marksman, as you can tell, just for this, uh, just for this fight. Uh, it is definitely possible to do as Beast Mastery, but I just didn't want to have to deal with the hassle of it. So I switched to Marksman, and yeah, that's, that's the fight. You just need to kite him around, uh, and make sure he does not stop at all, and make sure he does not, uh, go through any of his spit piles as you see the green puddles around and make sure he does not stop in his uh, sludge whatever that he leaves behind him because it just significantly increases his damage so i'm going to uh let the rest of this fight just just play out here but that's really it Second fight of rank 6 is someone who we all know, Stitches, you know, Stitches, uh, the dude that patrols around Duskwood. Anyways, now contrary to the last fight, this is probably the easiest fight to do with Beast Mastery Hunters. So there's really two components here. There's an Aura of Rot thing, which is the green debuff you see, and then a Hook ability. Now, he will apply Aura of Rot if you're near him, and if he's attacking you. If that reaches 10 stacks, which it gains like every second he's attacking you, then you instantly die. Now, to have that aura drop you need to leave his green circle when you do that he then grapples you in the aura of uh, rot resets and you you move slower because of uh because of the grappling thing the more times you move out the more stacks the grappling thing gets the slower you get so you do not want the aura of rot to reach 10 stacks or you instantly die and as i said beast mastery hunter he attacks my pet a lot so my pet was dying a lot because my pet was getting the aura of rot stacks and not me and that's the entire fight Third fight of rank 6 is a new one, and it's uh, pretty comical, has a comedy element to it. All these new ones seem to have something like that. So as you see, this well, this is Robe Robber Robert, and uh, as you see, it's a ton of health, like 4 million something, whatever. Now, he has a, an ability called Disrobing Strikes. When he casts it on you, you want to interrupt it, because what that will do is it will strip you. I I'm being 100% serious. It will take off your clothes, but it takes off your clothes one at a time. Now, what you just saw I did is he will spawn these like tornadoes around there. You want to kite him through those because it will take his clothes off. That's, that's the goal of the fight. Whoever loses all of their clothes loses. I mean, you want him to... I, I know he's a culture on human, but you do want him to lose all of his clothes before you do. Uh, and when that happens, which you will see that happen at some point... I don't lose all my clothes, he does. Uh, he will then take like a thousand percent increased damage, something like that. This dude has a lot of undershirts, I just realized. And I think we're coming to it right now, close to it, uh, right. Let's let's see what article of clothing comes off when I drag him through here. His shirt, so he, he pretty much just has his pants left. Uh, and yeah, and then when, um, I don't, you don't want to go through the tornadoes either, because I think it also takes off your clothes so here we are well we need to drag him through one more we're gonna drag him through one more we're gonna try to right here and now his uh his damage taken is increased by a thousand percent now dragging him through any more tornadoes will fear him so yeah now as a range person or beast mastery hunter my pet was taking a lot of the aggro 
Meaning that uh, he was using disrobing strikes on my pet, which does nothing. My pet doesn't wear any clothes, idiot. He is a, he is a beast. And this is the end of the fight right there. That is how you defeat uh, Rope Robber Robert. Final fight of rank 6 is Mecha Bruce. So we've seen Bruce, we faced Bruce, we also get him as a mount. But now we're facing Mecha Bruce, who has been in the Brawler's Guild before. And I think he's actually been slightly changed since uh, his past iterations. So he'll do this thing called Status Beam on you, which will stun you. Um, before I didn't think it stunned you, I think you just have to like run away from it or something. But it'll stun you. He will also do this thing called Chomp 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 Chomp. As you see he's doing right there, that's uh, the main thing that you want to look out for and get away from. Because that will, it'll like one shot you I'm pretty sure if you're in melee range of him. Or if, or if you're in front of him I guess I should say. And then he also does a thing called better faster, or better stronger faster, which increases his casting speed when he uh, gets it off. And none of the stuff's interruptible. So just uh, defeat him before he, he gets too many stacks, stacks of better, stronger, faster. And that's the entire Mecha Bruce fight and the entire rank six of the Brawlers Guild. So we have one more, one more rank to go, guys. We're almost, we're almost there. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's the entire video. If you enjoyed it, if you found it helpful at all to you, you can feel free to leave a like on it. You can sub to the channel for more videos like this. And I will see you guys in the next uh, video. Yeah, I think so. Hopefully. <laughs>